Sav and I have been in Samarkand for two days. Samarkand is the second most populous city in Uzbekistan with about 500,000 people living here. The largest city is Tashkent, the capital, with two million and it's a couple hundred kilometers north. But Samarkand is the much more important historical city. In fact, it's probably one of the most important cities historically in the world. It was the center of trade on the Silk Road, a center of trade on the Silk Road, and the center of the Timurid Empire. So there's a lot of incredible history here, but it's a small city. Part of Samarkand is this incredible site, Registan. It's three madrasas in a large public square built by Timur in the 14th century. This was, at its time, one of the most important scientific and cultural sites in the world. And beyond the historical importance of Registan, the place is just incredible looking. We've been walking for about an hour now and Sav and I have moved from the city center to the suburbs of Samarkand. It's kind of dirt road. We'll be totally out of the city in probably another hour. But a strange thing that's kind of changing my mindset right now is that I don't have anywhere to be. I'm not going to be able to make it to Tashkent before my visa runs out. So I'm just going to walk as far as I can until I need to take a taxi and get to Tashkent. So, this pressure that was on me to get to Samarkand, to get to uh, my hotel, and that was leading me to walk 40 kilometers a day, I don't have that anymore. Now I could walk 30 kilometers a day or less, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, I don't have this great pull driving me forward, which is kind of nice. I can relax a little bit more and not kill myself. Good. Mm. My name is Orzubek. Yeah, Orzubek. My name is Ferus. Ferus? Orzubek. 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 Tom. And Tom. And Tom. What do we have here? Oh, 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 oh. oh nice. Thanks, man. Oh, 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 oh. So nice. Give me some ice cream. Look at this beautiful fence. about two o'clock right now. Sav and I are walking, which is amazing because a couple days ago at two o'clock the heat was unbearable, but there was about a 10 degree temperature drop over the past two days. So it's nice and breezy, a little warm, but I'm not dying. We've already walked uh, about 25 kilometers, so well, well ahead of pace. We'll probably walk a couple more hours, take some breaks in between, 
But so far, uh, a good, easy first day back. I got a beer tonight. Over the past week when I was walking, I was really craving a beer every night. And the timing worked out tonight where I was able to get to a shop right before finding a place to sleep. I'm gonna enjoy it. heaven. It's still cold. Oof. So as expected, I was found out pretty quickly here uh, by someone. I'm just going to run into someone every night here. Uh, but he's inviting me to his house. I think he's calling uh, his mother right now to ask if I can come stay at his home. I'm not sure if I'll go. I kind of a good spot here, but still very, very kind of him. That kid was on the phone with his family probably for about a half an hour uh, trying to find someone who spoke English. Uh, I didn't get invited into, the, into their home. I think they were a little worried about Savannah because he kept talking about Savannah and looking at her. Uh, but anyway, I have a really good spot here. I got some pasta cooking up and I got my beer. So life is good. We did about 35 kilometers, a little less than 35 kilometers a day. So very easy day and great temperature makes such a big difference when the temperature is low. I can kind of spread out the walking. I don't have to walk in a panic in the morning and walk in a panic towards the night. And uh, I was able to stop early and I'll be able to rest a little bit and uh, get, a good, get a good jump on tomorrow.